Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the XSY320 by Zimpinsipo. <laughs> it's an AM FM weather band emergency radio. You can find these selling on Amazon for 20 bucks after a coupon. Retailing around 30, 35 bucks. Don't pay that much. I'll wait for sales and deals. They had an early Prime Access deal in October 2022, and I bought mine for $15. So maybe uh, in the fall, towards Christmas, we're going to see some more deals. So definitely keep your eyes peeled. Check out the links below. Uh, they're under different labels. Like this particular Zimpinsipo, I can't find it again, but there's other names out there. The exact same radio. So it's rubber stamped the names on this radio. So a company's out there making these and uh, they're letting them, whoever wants to put their name on it, put their name on it. Totterbirds Radio. <laughs> awesome. The box real quick. Comes in green. Comes in orange. Must have survival. Sweet. Made in China. I like this color here. It's like an olive green with black. Sweet. That looks nice. Three times larger solar panel. It's cool. Some bullet points on the back there. IPX4 water resistant catches my eye. High capacity rechargeable battery. 5,000 milliamp hour. Nice. Uh, solar panel. Decent. Okay, so there you go. Put that aside. What comes in the box? Well, we get the radio. Beautiful thing. Liking that. We get a charging cable. USB to micro USB. Uh, that's great because a lot of our shortwave radios still utilize this cable. So you can use this to charge your Texan PL330, your 368, your D808, your R0108, all those little shortwave radios. Awesome. And, of course, well, the frame, so you know what you're getting. Then we get a manual, the XSY320. See, no name, just the model number. That's why I stress the model number. And this is the manual for posterity, in case I miss anything. It's all right there for your pleasure. <laughs> There's a switch underneath the dynamo where you can switch between AAA operation for the radio or lithium ion for everything else. Yeah, you're not going to want to try to charge your phone with AAA batteries. Will probably not work. Flipping this over, the remainder of this manual here. In case you need it, you know, some people lose it. And it's on video here forever. So there's specifications for the radio nerd in you. <laughs> you know who you are. You're watching this <laughs> i'm kidding around it's fun but there you go that's the manual done deal cable done all right so the radio itself let's kind of zoom it in let's go over dimensions how big it is so it is actually a brick <laughs> six and a half inches in length three inches in height and a depth of two and a half inches so yeah not your typical emergency radio it's definitely a brick <laughs> I like it though. You know, it's nice. You know where to find it. You're not going to lose it. Uh, size comparison. We got CC Pocket there. It's kind of rest up there. Give you an idea. CC Skywave. So it's definitely not as tall as a CC Skywave. Give you an idea. Get the idea. Cool. And then last but not least, we do have a deck of cards here. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves emergency radios made in generic land, man. <laughs> I gotta say generic because I did see this radio under like five different names. And this one name I bought just because it was cheap. Zen Pinsipo. I think I'm saying that right. Or Pinsipo. Z silent? I don't know. But there you go. <laughs> um, so here we are. Uh, dimensions, it weighs 390 grams, so it's a chunky guy. You're not going to just put this in your back pocket. <laughs> You'll definitely feel it. Let's go over features of this radio. So we'll go to the left-hand side here, and we're greeted with the business end of the flashlight. We have a thrower light. This is like a real small beam projected, so you got some distance with that center light. And then we got two floodlights. And you actuate those with the button back here. So we'll turn it on, give you an idea. 
There's a little hot spot. Yeah, this thing's definitely a thrower. It's like, whoa. Uh, I think they say that's 650 lumens or, oh, sorry, 600 lumens. And now we got the floods, uh, both floodlights going. And that is supposed to be 150 lumens. That's actually pretty nice. It's got kind of a warmer appearance to it. And now this is both. They call this mixed mode. And they say that's a total of 650 lumens. And that runs about five hours if you're running all that light. So uh, my screen got wonky. So we always just bring Iron Man back in, get my color back. There we go. Sweet. Um, cool flashlight. This thing is all about light. I like it. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, the speaker sounds good too. Uh, it's a two inch speaker underneath there. This plastics, they're all hard plastics. This looks like it might be soft plastic, but it's not. This is all hard plastic, which is great. Uh, over here on the top, our band select switch, FM, AM, weather band. And then we have some LEDs. So this does show the battery life as you're running the radio. And there's four LEDs. Let's turn this on. Shows you your battery status as you listen to your radio. You get 80 hours, they say, on a full charge. That seems pretty good. Um, so you got tuning indicator. I don't know, I'm an FM. There we go. Tuning light went on. Uh, over here we have lamp indicator. So if you hit the lamp, not the flashlight, but there's a reading lamp I'm going to show you. Uh, that light's blue when the reading lamp's on. And then, of course, we got charge. That's when you're using either the micro USB input or solar or dynamo. That'll light up red. Give you an idea. It's pretty neat. Our band. There you go. FM. Pretty accurate. Uh, AM. And then the weather band. Down here, volume. On-off control. Tuning control. Right-hand side, we have the light switch, as you saw there. Three modes. So spot, flood, flood and spot. Then the antenna, FM antenna is pretty cool. This extends 10 and 3 quarter inches. So it comes out the back kind of like the Midlands head. And then uh, I think like the 200 or 210. And But this is nicer. seems well built. And it's on a swivel as well. But it doesn't seem as fragile as those Midlands were. So definitely uh, handy to have. And it just re goes right back in there. Out of sight, out of mind. And they had to do this, I believe to accommodate the large solar panel we're going to see in a little bit. All right, this rubber jacket uh, to keep it IPX4 water resistant. We have the USB output for charging your phone, which is a 5 volts, 1 amp output. And then we have the micro USB input. They say it's a 1.5 amp input. I only noticed uh, on a dead battery, uh, let's see, uh, 8 tenths of an amp, so under an amp. The two switches there, one corresponds to the reading lamp, one corresponds to the SOS mode. If you want to fire the SOS, it's a siren. You press and hold the SOS. I'm just going to cover the speaker. <coughs> Flashes a light, runs a large, loud siren. <laughs> uh, we got a carry strap here. Sweet, it comes with it. Top of the radio, we got a solar panel. And then on the side here, another solar panel. So we got triple cells here. It's pretty nice. Um, it's going to help charge the battery. It's a Larger than average. This is definitely larger than the CC radio solars. And then this is your reading lamp as well. So you have some uh, direct area lighting here. And of course you hit the button to turn it on. And you can play your Iron Man cards, you know, when you're in for a game. Boy, I think it's bright. I don't know why they call it a reading lamp. It should have different modes, I think. Nice. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Otherwise, we're going to blind. All right. But you get the idea. Pretty cool. And then underneath that flap, I mean, they put everything to good use on this radio. There is the battery bay for the optional, uh, if I get it open, it's tight fitting, uh, three AAA batteries to run the radio. That'd be nice to see double A's because look how big this radio is. It's gigantic. There's tons of room. <laughs> I like to see removable, uh, rechargeable battery too. They didn't do it on this one, but that'd be nice to see in the future. On the bottom, we have a warranty sticker. Some pinsapo. If I'm saying that right, sorry guys if I'm not. Uh, the dynamo I notice is kind of loose. Easy fix. All you gotta do is wrap a little bit of electrical tape around the uh, swivel here. That's all you gotta do, and it'll fit tight into that little area there. I just didn't do that. And then when you lift this up, there's a switch there, lithium ion or AAA operation. So if you're storing the the light for or radio for a long time, just switch it to AAA's and make sure there's no batteries in there. When you're ready to use it, switch over to lithium ion. That way you don't get any parasitic drain anywhere. It's a pretty nice idea. 
So yeah, I think I covered most everything about this. I said two inch speaker here. So I guess that sounds good. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and do one more thing before we get going. Uh, yeah, people like to see this thing charge. So since it has an output, we'll hook up a radio. So I'm gonna plug in my Rui Dang meter here. You kind of see where the voltage sits plugged in. So right now it's sitting at 5.2, almost two volts. I have my D808 right here handy. I'm just gonna set this off camera here. I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna charge it up. So let's just go ahead and put that in. Turn this back on. Oh, I gotta I waited too long. Gotta restart it. Since it's not pulling enough power, I have to actually reset the when you're using a meter. When you're not using the meter, I'll just go take off. Okay. So of course the power bank's gonna show you better life. Right now my D808's pulling four tenths of an amp, it's about right. It charges a slower rate. If we want to charge something heavier, I'll show you that, but doing a an amp, it stays around five volts, which is good. That's typically what you're gonna use it for, like your phone, a uh, small phone would work out perfect. So let's go ahead and unplug this, take the radio off, and let's show you with a high-powered flashlight. I wouldn't recommend this because you'll drain your battery really fast because delivered output on this uh, flashlight radio combination is uh, 2400 milliamp hours or 11.85 watt hours. So that's what I got total out of this battery, which is just under a 5000 milliamp hour internal lithium ion. Let's get the color back. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and plug the flashlight in. So I got this through night. Again, I have to reset it. Pull this back out. Okay, let's see if we can't get that to work. Come on. Okay. There we go. Now it's charging my flashlight. This flashlight's pulling quite a bit, one and a quarter amps, which is past its uh, one amp, and it's uh, dropping down to 4.5 volts, so kind of the minimum you'll see. But this is like extreme charging right now. But it works. People like to see that. So there it is. Demo done. That. Let's go ahead and set that aside. And we know the power bank function works. Again, in an emergency only is when I would use that. Yeah. All right. Something with the blue on red always messes up my screen. There we are. So let's talk about FM reception report. Let's turn it on and have some fun. Um, FM is uh, fairly decent. Uh, I think it got uh, an okay to good rating. Uh, yeah, 55 stations found, so just above, above average. Probably because the antenna isn't super long. 10 and 3 quarter inches isn't spectacular. But uh, it, it does. It gets the job done. Uh, but those 55 stations, they all came in pretty clear. Uh, selectivity was okay to good as well. So slightly better than your average analog radio which is handy in an emergency. That's what you want. Get a lot of information off FM. Uh, daytime AM band, good for locals only. In the evening, I did pick up some distance stations. In the evening, it, it woke up. But during the day, anything past 1200 kilohertz was pretty much quiet. I didn't notice any activity. And there's a ton of stations around my area past 1200. So this radio just kind of falls dead. Not a lot of these inexpensive radios do. But the cherry on the pie here is the weather band. I got six of the seven stations. Uh, it's above average, so well above average. And that's what you want. Get your weather stations in six different zones. Plus, I'm picking up all those FM stations. I'm pretty happy. And I'm getting my locals, uh, which is great for my AM stations. Let's go ahead and turn it on. This is Radio Totterberg. Got lucky and tuned to it. What that is is FM transmitter two. Transmitting at 97.7 megahertz with my Sony attached to it with royalty free music beaming over here.
big mother. audio demo a little bit of lighting demo i like to do that it's always fun uh we're gonna do an fm band scan yeah we're just gonna pull this antenna up see what i can hear downstairs just on the antenna itself see what happens and uh, then we'll go to the am band and weather bands yeah we'll have fun so let's go ahead and just turn off these transmitters here okay great turn this up we're at the bottom of the fm band ESP radio, of course. In the 12 o'clock hour of the midday mix, usually on Friday. You will then have 30 days. Come some kind of threat? Do you think I'm going to try to convince you or something? Because if you. What exactly have you been hearing in terms of these reports about uh, the offensive towards? Do not know right now who Jesus is, that he is real. You are what we report about uh, the offensive towards McKinley. Through this ministry, you get to support that and make that happen. For 525 5683 online, easy, quick. <laughs> This Friday at 7.30 p.m. The program features the brutal harmonies of Buck. Good fires, good years, man, good swings. Oh. Up quite a bit here. I will not go, turn the lights off, carry me. I go over 1-800-Medicare to get information on all of your options. Geico. Route 64 in St. Charles, online at HawkneySignStCharles.com. Station, visit your heart's message. You can do is hope the right person comes along, which is why you... Almost through. Yeah, there we are. 
Yeah, current time, 11.36 p.m. Central Daylight Time. I'm near Chicago, Illinois. That's why I picked up so many stations. Love it. All right, so let's go to the uh, weather band. 36 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And I picked up quite a bit. Now here's this is, uh, the channel one. Weather outlook for portions of East Central Wisconsin, reverse direction. South Central Wisconsin and Southeast Wisconsin. We hit the two, which I was able to pick up. There's four. Southeast winds around five miles per hour. For Friday night. afternoon. Highs around sixty. There's five. Chance of precipitation thirty percent. So five out of five so far. Sunday night, mostly cloudy. Chance of showers in the evening. Lows in the mid forties. Proportions of North Central Illinois, Northeast Illinois, and Northwest Indiana. That makes six stations. This is uh, Channel 7. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Cool. So, yeah, this thing does great on the weather band. It doesn't have weather alert, but if it's storming outside, just grab your weather radio, switch to the weather band, pick the strongest frequency or closest to your area, Spotter and listen. Will not be so, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, so, let's go ahead and go to AM band. I'm going to go to the bottom. We're going to retract this antenna because this is for FM and weather band only. This radio operates on an internal antenna. Like I said, during the day, don't expect uh, much. Um, it just it falls short. It's just mainly for locals. I barely got any semi-locals. Uh, so just strong stations only. Like I said, it faded away after 1,200 kilohertz. It just died. Now in the evening, I got good results. I was able to get stations all the way up to 1,700. Uh, but that's because in the evening, the radio wakes up. Now, again, the internal battery, they say it's 5,000 milliamp hour. But po by power delivered... Of 2400 milliamp hours it kind of brings me to believe that this might be like a 4000 milliamp hour battery if it's a single cylindrical cell if it's two batteries it's probably two 2000 milliamp hour 18650s i haven't taken it apart but i guess it's a, a single 21700 cell right around the 4000 to 4200 milliamp hour rated that's just my guess that's still pretty good okay bottom of the am band we'll just tune in some strong stations To get a prosecutor in Ukraine fired that was investigating his Here's 560 WIND Chicago. No experience in energy, oil, gas, or Ukraine, but he's making millions of dollars. Tune in lamp, or okay, LED we'll comes on. Unless you fire the prosecutor investigating my son. Where can you deck the halls and the front yard? Lowe's action. Decorate your holiday home with pre-lit artificial... Starting at only 99. This should be 670 the score to be a CR Chicago. Display with outdoor inflatables starting at just 20. Could be WSM or 620. I'm going to just check this real quick. I got my Skywave handy. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to kind of go in between. You'll have to just. Is a treatment for adults with advanced. A little bit of patience. Yeah, I can't get 650. Bill, not an injection. Gobix may cause serious side effects, including a heart condition. Prolongation. It was Carol characterized as a, quote, modern marvel of engineering. Uh, that type of design. Okay, 700. WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. We can verify. Pretty cool. Via a track that resembles a rocking chair base. <laughs> That's a quote. You know said that? Well, it's, it was... 720 WGN Chicago. No, it wasn't. No, it was close. There was a... Uh, there was a... Okay, I think I'm picking up Zoomer Radio here. 740 CFCM, Toronto, Ontario. Which is 460 miles. Coming in weak on my Skywave as well. So 
also sent emails to the Justice Department alleging voter fraud in Georgia and elsewhere. Here's 780 WBBM Chicago Weather Radio. Officials were forced to swat down. And he sat in on phone calls with Georgia officials in which Trump pressed them to find enough votes to overturn his loss in the state. I'm Ben Thomas. IRS initiatives are in effect that can provide financial relief to struggling taxpayers. If you owe the IRS 10000 or more, you may not be required to pay it all back. You or your business may be eligible to have a significant portion of what you owe eliminated or for IRS resolution programs. Community Tax has a relief hotline for consumers to call to learn what savings programs and tax reductions you may qualify for. This A-plus Better Business Bureau rated service is top rated by Consumer Affairs and has already resolved over a billion dollars in back taxes for struggling taxpayers. So this is cool. 870 WWL New Orleans, Louisiana. 865 miles to the south. Nice. 800-245-4384. That's 800-245-4384. For more information, go to communitytax.com. Navian tankless water heaters, the proven leader in condensing technology. Request a Navian because you deserve the best. <laughs> Just kind of tune back as 860 CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. Supplementary retirement and income book at 844-513-SAFE. That's 844-513-7233. And also join me, Ben Coons, for the Retirement and Income Radio Show, heard here every Saturday at 3 p.m. on KMOX Radio. Okay, you heard him say KMOX. It's 1120. St. Louis, Missouri, 270 miles to the south. Caring for my brother is far from easy. Oh, the light. A psychic told me that. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. 11:40. Zooming on up here. Life, so he would. Yep, cool. WRVA, Richmond, Virginia. Oh, frankly, I'm not in this realm. Do you still and live with? Do you still live with so... Yeah, so 1140 WRVA, Richmond, Virginia, 665 miles to the east. Nine. Go to the top of the band and then do final thoughts. Dollars. This is ESPN Radio. She's on payroll and match. The Patriots have been setting Matt Jones up to fail. 1530 WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio. I hope we keep our foot on the gas, and I hope some of our friends in our party, in the Republican Party... Should be 1640, or sorry, 1540 KXEL, Waterloo, Iowa, 280 miles to the west. One who reads even the most rudimentary... Taiwan and yeah, it pretty much gets pretty quiet up at the top of the band. Okay, you get the idea what it can do. Cool. So there it is. The um, what was the number three twenty? I said the XSY three twenty uh, by Zen Principo or whatever names on here. It's going to be the same radio, same deal. Um, is it worth the money? Yeah, if you can spend 20 bucks or less on this radio, pick one up. If it's more than 20 bucks, uh, I'd probably pass. There's so many good options out there. Um, this one, I mean, if it had better AM, I'd say, yeah, I'd buy it all day long. But um, it's it's good for what it does. Uh, I wish it had a replaceable lithium battery. But overall, 20 bucks, it gets recommended by. All links below, check them out. If you uh, like the radio, if you like its dimensions, um, you like its beefiness, if you like all the reading lamps and the main lamps, you like the radio action, you know, it's all up to you. 
uh, use the links. Enjoy the uh, video, definitely. <laughs> Give a big like if you did. Two, if you like the inexpensive generic emergency radios and want to see more, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, get notified. And I usually post deals. Like when this went on sale for $15, I didn't even own it yet, but I knew I was going to buy it. And I recommended it because I figured $15, you really can't go wrong for $15. bucks. i have seen cheaper flashlights <laughs> for $15. bucks. <laughs> so yeah, definitely. And of course, three come up below. We think about the Zimpis Zimpinsipo, if I can say that right, five times fast. XSY 320. <laughs> Zimpinsipo. <laughs> Let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.